Commissaire. You're required. This way. Hurry up. Oh, goodness, Miss Earth. The master has taken it into his head to give Adela biology lesson. <laughs> we all have to hold the beetles. Oh, sir, he can't understand a word he says. He's looking on, really. Monsieur Rochester, we are bored with looking at the English water beetles. They are not beautiful like the ones in your study. Can I go with you, Monsieur Rochester, when you set off on your travels once more? I will always wear my best dress and everyone will think I'm pretty. Yes. But if they see you for the shallow little creature that you are, no more substance than one of those meringues over there, well, then they will find you disgusting, my little Parisienne. They will find me disgusting. You're mistaken, Adele, if you do not think to find interesting creatures here in England. There's a bird. It's a... It's a quite nondescript grey colour, and it's accustomed not to moving too quickly, not to draw attention to itself for fear of being beaten. It wishes it could be in a cage. But sooner or later, slowly, day by day, its wings grow very strong, and if you were to look very closely, you would see brilliant scarlet feathers hidden under its drab wings. Until one day, it has grown so confident that it flaps its red wings and flies straight upwards into the sky, and those lucky enough to catch it in flight think that they have caught a glimpse of a firebird. And then? Well, then it flies away somewhere warm and never comes back. I don't think I believe in this bird. That's true. There's one here at Thornfield in the gardens, if you look very hard. Madame Sarfax, Monsieur Rochester said the ladies will say I'm disgusting. Oh, that's nice, dear. Mmm, I think that's it. I'd like to remember her. This is the story of the Come, sir. You have something to say? We should not tease her. She's just a child. She is. She's also self-obsessed, thoughtless, vain. We made great headway with her even in the past few months, but look at her. Just like her mother. <laughs> I saw what the mother became. That is no reason to despise the child. Do you really think? If the blood is tainted, won't I be failing in my duty to her to let her remain like this? and not to try my best to correct her ways. She does not deserve to be ridiculed or despised. She's a child. She deserves that you should trust her. That she'll grow and learn and learn. Miss No, thank you, Adele. We shall see, Miss Earth. Oh. 